right, it's uh, 7 p.m., so we'll uh, call the meeting to order. Get the roll call there, Christine, please. Sure. David Bosmer. He's uh, excused. Ronald Fanna. Here. Fred Shimura. Here. Michael Dougherty. Present. Glenn Lessig. Present. David Horton. Here. David Richardson. Here. Roy Bradrick. Here. And Jeff Keller. Here. Here. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, the next order of business is to seat Melton in to fill Mr. Hosmer's seat. I'll uh, I make a motion to seat Dave Richardson. Second it. A motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Okay, next order of business. Uh, Mr. Be... Chairman. Yes. I'd like to uh, add to new business as item D, uh, the election of officers, uh, as outlined in our policies. Okay, motion to add that, second on that. Shouldn't we wait until the new board is actually seated? Or since we're not really... Well, well, actually that's been discussed a little bit, but according to our current policy, we're supposed to elect officers the first regular meeting following the town elections. But the results of the town elections aren't, aren't here yet. Mr. Mr. Braddock should be seated right now. He was elected. Well, he waited until he, he's on the board. He, he could still board. be. He could still be nominated for a position because we know for a fact that he'll be. He'll be on the board. But going forward, I mean, this is something that we could change uh, in the policy going forward. But right now, unless we want to suspend that policy, I think. I think let we speak to on that point. Well, I think. I think Glenn, you and I wrote these. I think we just missed this one. It's a policy. It's right. in place. I think we should do it, and I think we should put it on the agenda for December to change it permanently. Because right. I don't think we should change it at the same meeting we make uh, utilize the change. Well, maybe that should be the discussion when we get to D. Okay, we can take that up under D. Right. But we will add that. I, I we guess what I'm saying is we're kind of stuck on it. Yeah. Stuck with I, it right this time. I agree. And I agree it should change. And I agree also. So do we have a second to add that to the agenda? Second. Okay. Any more further discussion on that at this time? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Opposed? Okay, motion carries. That will be added as item D, the election of officers. Okay. Uh, Reports from committees. Uh, we have. Oh no! I'm Thanks. sorry. Back up. You missed. You, you messed me up there. Jump the spot. Okay. Approve the minutes from the September 12th regular meeting. I would move uh, move to approve the minutes. We have a second on that. A second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Discussion. I'll go first. No. All right. Um, Page two, item seven, C. Uh, there was about a 15 or 16 minute discussion that uh, took place between the first paragraph of uh, section C and uh, the motion that was made, and none of it is covered in these minutes. Uh, other than uh, he stated that the Board of Selectmen and especially the Board of Education should research the generation contracts with ever source to see if they can negotiate a uh, lower rate. I'm not sure that I actually said that, but I said a whole lot of other stuff that's not covered. Um, I would suggest that uh, paragraph C, after the $43,000, we should add. He also noted a significant discrepancy between BGE billing and Eversource credits for July and August and recommends somebody from the first selectman's office look into this as we are either being overcharged or undercredited. Uh, the, I'm 
another paragraph should be added there that he also stated that he had suggested to Mr. Toth and Ms. Monroe in June that they look into the generation contract for schools to save as much as $20,000 this year. In August, Mr. Richardson learned that the school and the town had looked into the generation contracts and had contracted for a higher price, one that would cost the town more than $29,000 more than if they had used Eversource as a generation source and more than $46,000 more than the market rate at the time. Um, there was a lot more discussion, but those were the two essential points. And it was 15 or 16 minutes, because uh, I went back and listened to the audio a couple times and reviewed the video to make sure my memory was forward. Do you have those points in writing, Mr. Richardson? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Um, I yes. highly disagree, because if I write down everything Mr. Richardson wants me to write down, this will be books again, and that's why we have the video. If people want more information, they can watch the video. <coughs> I, I, like I said, there was a 15-minute discussion 15 on this. 15 minutes was way too long to go over that. It, it, we spent 15 minutes doing it. I know, it. but I couldn't spend 15 minutes listening. Uh, well, uh, if you weren't listening for 15 minutes of discussion, maybe we have a different problem. Okay, then I quit. Uh, what? Have a good night. The other uh, thing that I would add, and this kind of goes to what uh, Christine was just saying, We've talked about this in the past. Uh, there should be a disclaimer at the end of these minutes. Because the minutes that are posted, if you go to the website, are not the official minutes. They're the preliminary minutes. They were never, you know, when they're approved, it goes into the following month. Um, an example of how this is done is uh, planning and zoning which adds a disclaimer stating, disclaimer, these minutes have not yet been approved by the Planning and Zoning Commission. In our case, it would be the Board of Finance. Please refer it to the next month's minutes for approval of amendments. Please note that the audio, and or in our case, audio uh, video record, is the legal record of the meeting. We discussed this a year ago, uh, but somehow it fell through. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I, can I just ask a question? Go ahead. Um, who's taking the minutes? Uh, right now, all we have to go by is the audio and video. Can I just raise this hand? Are you going to you? I'm the secretary, so. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I mean, I think Mr. Richardson raises a couple points. Number one, what he wanted to put in, um, <coughs> whether we're, how we're handling minutes until they're approved. And then I think the other issue is, I mean, how much detail do we really want in our minutes? I know we've talked about this in the past. But it does seem like we're starting to kind of sum up what's in there really isn't appropriate. For example, that last paragraph after uh, um, number C, after some discussion with the consensus of the Board of Finance, it was something that was talked about. There was a consensus, and it says and that we would be satisfied. Satisfied of what? I don't think that's what we meant. But I mean, so I think that there are some things in in um, um, community um, on the last page. Oh, I'm sorry, on um, public comment. We got public comments about a public comment about something somebody feels. I'm sorry, that doesn't belong in our minutes. That doesn't belong in the board of finance minutes. So I do think that you know we should have this continue to have discuss, discussion that only things that are really important, and it could very well be what Mr. Richardson just said, his points are, should be there. But there are other things that I think we need to be aware of, don't belong in our minutes. And we need to just make sure that whoever's taking them, that we're in agreement on how those should be handled. If we're getting over the line. Here. If I may, I think the minutes are a, a summary, not a transcript. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be so much said that has to be distilled into a few pages. And if someone really cares, we have a video, we have an audio transcript, yeah. you can get to the detail of exactly. it. Exactly. So uh, you know, we're going back to the five or six pages that we once determined were 
overkill at, at, at one opinion or unnecessary at another. And uh, I don't think we need the detail. I think a, a brief summary of what the board decided after issues were raised will cover it. I do agree, however, on the issue that anything posted on the website should say these are draft minutes to be approved at a, right. a subsequent time. So everybody doesn't get the idea. But uh, in terms of what we're seeing today, we got three pages of fairly detailed notes, and that may be more than adequate. Um, the few times I've had issues, it's been summarized, and maybe it's not exactly as detailed as I'd like to see, but it, it, it's got the gist of it, and I think we're looking at the gist of it rather than a transcript. Absolutely. I, I don't disagree. I think bullet point minutes, especially if they have a disclaimer at the end so people realize they can go watch the video or the audio, I think we still keep records of the audio, correct? I, I, they used to be in a treasurer's office. Yep, and I haven't, I have not, I know, have not yeah. received a CD, you know, so I've been doing it for the last 10 months, so where those come from, I... Okay. I don't they have, used to come from I have, name. Yeah, I have older ones that were there when Donna was um, the treasurer, but I have not received any. I add up all those audios, and I can put it on a DVD and send it to you so that you okay. have Just so that, because I think that's what she used to do is lock them up. Yep. What but happens What happens to the uh, data on that machine behind us? <laughs> is that, uh, where does it go? Because that's uh, the official transcript, that's the official record. I, I have no problem if someone has their own personal ones to throw into the mix, but that's not... The official record it's, for it's, it's put on it's put on the town website, and a copy of that is supposed to be kept in the uh, vault upstairs. Then it's there. We're, we're, we've covered, and it's all there. Do you know whether there's a copy in the vault upstairs? I'm not the keeper of the record. That, that would have to be uh, uh, Judy Walberg. Yeah. You'd have to check. With, we'd have to check with on that. I mean, if there was an additional copy that was on a disc that was given to Donna, it was done previously, but not since I've um, been acting treasurer. Back, back to the point, though, of the language that I had suggested. There was a 15-minute discussion based around the points of having uh, asked a question about the generation contract, and it resulting, instead of resulting in a savings, resulted in a huge increase in spending. We had a long discussion about it, and in fact that motion you made, which follows it, was based on that. So the way okay. this was written, can you that motion was hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so if you get all that thread, and you can read that next mic, and then we'll can we'll Yeah, if we can get that. I don't have any questions. Put in with bullet points. Does any anybody else have any other concerns about anything else in the minutes? I think that last sentence in C should be struck, and I think uh, um, public comment. I'm sorry, Preston Soltz's comment is not really appropriate for our for our minutes. It's, he's welcome to his opinion, of course, and to state it. But I don't know that that needs to be that the public comments, especially if what he feels, should be in our minutes. I think that should be strong. Anyone else? I think it gets a little tricky with the public comment. It does, yeah. Yeah, there's no uh, doubt about it. Because, uh, you know, people, one yeah. of our issues is people don't show up. People do show up and have comment. And they don't get recognize the fact that they have But it is recorded, though. Recorded. It is recorded. It's just, you know, get, what's pertinent? You know, I mean, I don't know that that's really what should be reflected in our official minutes. Can I just say something about this? It does, I agree with you on the comment where it says he believes that they are fraudulent because that's really publicly accusing somebody of something that he has no idea if that's accurate. So I <coughs> agree that I personally think it's okay to keep that it's very difficult to get information on how the $2.3 million savings, blah, 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 but he feels that BP Green Solar is fraudulent. That's like publicly slandering somebody when they don't even have any proof. So I can see taking that out, but I agree that you should have some comments in the minutes. But 
for you know putting things out there, calling somebody fraudulent or something like that, to me doesn't seem like, like it should be on there. Can we agree to strike the last line of that comment? Yes. Yeah, I can go along with that. I can support that. Everybody else. Any other concerns? So what are we doing with uh, Dave's suggested amendment? Well, at this time, he's going to put that in a bullet point fashion and get it to Fred. And well, Fred will... got two paragraphs here. Once entered into the Okay. And, uh, and then we can... Right, right, right. Uh, yes. As he read it, if you want to adapt that, in as addition to the comments under that section and strike that one line <coughs> from uh, public comment, then we can uh, move to accept the minutes as amended. If not, we can uh, have it redrawn and bring it up again at our next month meeting. There was one other thing that Glenn brought up uh, about the consensus of the board. Did you bring that up, Glenn? Yes, I did. Okay. Just so we don't pass over that. Right. Yeah. Just want to make sure we touch on that. sentence under C on page two. You'd like to see that stricken? Yes. That's actually not exactly what we said either. No. Right? No, it's not. It's not. It's it's too. It's way too vague. It's way too. Long. Everybody agree with that? Yeah. Any further discussion? So if we make those amendments, that will uh, please everyone. All right, so. Motion to call you as amended. A second on that? Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Stay in the The next order of business would be reports of committees, which we have none at this time. And public comment. Finished business uh, update on the state budget. Well, <clears throat> as you all know, the state supposedly passed the budget. Maybe Mike could give us some more uh, information on this uh, as an insider. Uh, but former, the state did. Uh, the former, yeah, insider. former insider. Yes. Hey, I'm sure he's still got connections. Uh, the state did, in fact, pass a budget, which uh, was quite favorable to us. Based on what we had uh, for projected revenues, although if you follow the news, and I'm sure you all must have heard it, <coughs> we're a couple of weeks into the new budget, and we're already $180 million in deficit. So if they were to take that and divide it across the 169 towns equally, that's about $1.1 million we could lose right there. So. Uh, Going forward, what I'm looking at right now, it's my opinion that we should uh, hold the uh, additional expenses uh, from any of the transfers that we had set aside and wait until we actually get some confirmation to the treasurer's office, or as I like to say, check in hand, uh, before we make any serious decisions as to uh, where we're going. because we don't know what's going to happen down the road. Anyone else? Well, last uh, meeting, we changed the policy to hold an excess of, what, 13% until the state budget was passed. 15%. 15%. Yeah. 
Well, the state budget has been passed, so right. we have to either continue that resolution, right, to keep Good things. Point. I agree that's, that that's I think we, we keep it in the bank. That's what we would need to do is is to to continue. extend that suspension of the cap. Well, can we just extend it for one month? Because you know, we still don't have official numbers from no, the state. No, we don't. No. So there's nothing we could do anyway. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> so we actually so we be <laughs> suspended to our next meeting. To our next yeah. meeting. Yeah. 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 Uh, so. the, the, the budget document itself is 881 pages, and I went through it, scanned through it, and took <laughs> out all the all the financial stuff. I didn't. I didn't read the foolish budget, but I did. I did scan for all the financial stuff, and and, and based on that, uh, like I said, we we should have come out quite fortunate. But in the state of affairs that we're in at this time, I wouldn't guarantee anything. So. I would move to con continue the suspension or the limit of the unassigned fund balance as detailed the Board of Finance fund balance policy to our December 12th meeting and to be put in old business. Okay, we have a motion. We have a second. Second. Mr. Lessig seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay. So we've been this is taking care of uh, items A and B. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that would re that would also take care of B because that would be uh, the next discussion was going to be how we we're going to handle the fund balance. Right. Yeah, and, and the next one that we have the audit report, right? Have the, well, the um, auditors be the auditors, yes, they yes. come into their yes. presentation, Which will yes. also help because yes. then you'll know what your actual we'll fund balance really is. They will be, they will be at the beginning of the meeting. Well, and they can also, if we want to move something, they can tell us what we can and, and can't, can't do. do. Yeah. yeah, there'll be new business, right? Okay. So, the yeah. first <laughs> meeting will be sequence or... 12, 12. Um, skip over this. Yeah, we can just, we can just move one. them. I'll move this one out of that presentation. Yeah. All right, item C, update on the solar project. I think everybody received a copy of the old spreadsheet that showed uh, August through October. And I think uh, Karen said there's also one from the Board of Selectmen in here, uh, which I scanned in about three seconds, but uh, my three seconds scan, the numbers pretty much jive. Um, I'm showing about $11,000 August, September, and October. We had 63000 for the first 12 months. That's roughly 74. This one for selection shows 74. So at least all the numbers tie out. Um, Good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Um, I think <laughs> you can see there's about eleven thousand dollars for those three months. Um, that should put us on target for about forty thousand dollars for the year. We're already um, looking at this sheet. Right yeah, at this sheet. Right, yeah, target number. See that margin? Yep, margin. Eleven thousand. Um, down below at variance, uh, this is the same uh, issue I brought up uh, last uh, month. Uh, July and August, um, and, and I put the July number up there, you can see there's a big difference between whatever source credited us for kilowatt hours and what Be Free Solar charged us for kilowatt hours. Now in any given month, of course, there's a timing issue. You know, a couple well, of days. Depends on what the are read. Right. Uh, but these numbers are so far out um, that it's not just a matter of a couple of days one way or another. And then when you look at it over, in this case, a four-month period, that should all even out. Uh, there's some, some things wrong. Somebody, again, as I said last month, from the first selectman's office, the board selectman, 
needs to uh, look into this and see why that discrepancy, because the difference is if it's overcharged, it's about $4,500. If it's undercredited, it's about $6,000. Um, those numbers, they're just too far out. They shouldn't be. That's about it. Okay. Anyone else? It would be appropriate to ask, um, did you have a conversation with the superintendent, with Mr. Bernardi, about what they're paying with Board of Ed? What you, that was part of what you were going we, to do. We did appropriate right now, and yeah. no way. No, no, that's, that's so, fine. Oh, we'll so. get it out of the way now. Uh, <clears throat> that was, uh, we had spoken about that, and uh, the school board was going to look into it, and Mr. Richardson has also contacted uh, the people at the school, and apparently we're paying the same. same as, rate. as of the October billing, nothing has changed. Um, you know, I, I, I think we're a week away from a change in administration, so yeah. perhaps uh, mindset takes place. Talk with the other mic. After next week. Besides too many days, I'm going to have too many mics. It's time for a third mic, too. How can it be too many days or too many mics? Anything else on that? So, we, is there an action item here or no? Uh, at this time, no. Uh, we'll have to wait uh, and see what we can get for an update and see if the school is, in fact, looking into changing their supplier or what the town would consider. Uh, as was just mentioned, there's going to be a change here in the next week. So uh, the Board of Selectmen will have to uh, decide uh, where they're going with the supplier. Uh, but the school, uh, it's, uh, that's, that's the biggest nut to crack. That's the highest usage comes out of the school. So it's definitely something that uh, you know, needs to be looked into. Actually, Mike, there, there is a, an action item from last the last meeting. In fact, it was in the minutes. It was a motion that Glenn made um, to designate you right. uh, to find out what was uh, what was the reasoning for the generation rate and see about getting a lower rate from the Board of Selectmen's office. Yeah, and that, that verbatim out of you. Right, and that's what I was asking. And there was no answer okay. to that. Okay. Okay. So it was safe to say that unfinished business A, B, and C are all going to be on our next meeting agenda. Yep. Again. Correct. Yep. All right. Anything else? All right. On the new business, uh, review the 2018 uh, meeting calendar. Uh, that's something that we need to approve next month. Uh, but just uh, in case anybody has any questions or uh, sees any possible conflicts in that, uh, we brought it up tonight. When is the spring vacation? That was uh, adjusted for in the, in the calendar. It's uh, the week of the 16th. Okay. So when Mike and I talked, we put the um, final budget the week before in case there's a problem. We'd still have the week gave after. Gave us another week to work with. To work with, because that you know is like a time frame for the um, the annual town meeting. So it wouldn't give us much time if we waited till the end of the month to try to finalize everything. Carol, Carol, was it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pardon. What was the the dates of school vacation again? I believe it begins Monday, April 16th. Yeah. Okay. Glenn? It seems like the annual town meeting keeps getting earlier and earlier. Yeah, I know it depends on how the calendar falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Guidelines. Um, <clears throat> I don't know about anybody else, but I'm typically gone in July. Um, is there any, and maybe I'm the only one, but I mean, could we have a June meeting instead of a July meeting? I don't, I don't know. I know we miss a meeting. Just throwing that out there, I don't know whether, maybe I'm the only one that travels in July, but it just seems like if we're going to miss a month, that, that, would, that it would make more sense to have it in July, August, rather than, anyway, just throwing that out. 
Is there anything we do at the because it's the end of after the end of the year? That's why the July meeting rather than June. Right. Uh, I'd have to look at our calendar. Our, we have a schedule where we're supposed to do every month, but I don't think that meeting really too much is going on. But I, don't. Well, I think it may, may also be possible just so we're not going two months without a meeting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Every yeah. Other yeah. Month. yeah. That's true too. Good point. So the week, that's where it's probably confusing everybody right now. It's a week later, this upcoming 2018. Last year, it was a week earlier. 13th is, is a Tuesday. That's correct. Okay. The 6th and the 13th are both Tuesdays. So the 16th is not a Monday. No. Of March. Oh, I thought you were talking about April. I apologize. <laughs> Earl Clark, can you ask me when the school... April vacation. They did. April, April, April 16th. And then you jumped to okay. March. Right, the 16th through the 20th. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry, I missed it. It was a question of those 16th and 13th being two weeks. Yeah, it's the 16th through the 20th is the uh, school vacation. Okay. It's been a long time since I was in school. Mm. It's all right. The, mm -hmm. the date's changing. All right, any other issues with that? <coughs> if not, we'll bring it up for a vote at next month's meeting for approval. And we will move on to quarterly reports. Town? Everybody had a chance to look at them mm -hmm. yet? Are there any questions? Karen and Linda are both here, so. <coughs> all looked in order to hmm? I said all looked in order to me. Is there anything that you see that you want to draw to our attention? Um, I previously spoke with Mike, um, pretty much pertaining to that CNR issue. Um, with the CNR issue as far as when the time comes, we you know wait to see what our actual fund balance is from our auditors before moving forward with any you know financial decisions. I think would be in the best interest of the town. Yeah. Um, other than that, um, you know there are several projects that need to be addressed soon, but where the money is going to come from is you know one one question. We we know we can spend it, we just don't know how we're going to get it. So hopefully before the spring we'll have that answer. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to at least get what we estimated. I'm hoping for more. Be nice. Be nice. That money that we put in was what, 183,960? That we set aside. That we set aside to the un unrestricted. Um, there's 118,000. Are you talking about CNR? I'm talking about what we moved to the unrestricted fund. To act, uh, what? General fund. Yeah. And restricted general fund when the select and requested the transfers in September. Right, we didn't transfer anything. The full 296,000 stayed in the general fund balance. But some of that we allocated. Yes, we allocated uh, money for the oil tank. Yep. Out of their contingency, yeah, that was 15,000. It was 10,000 for the oil tank and 5,000 for the um, Hasway stay. That's right. Okay. Yep. Just wanted to confirm the numbers. We took care of the emergency, the high priority items. Yep. Revenue? Uh, even the, the, the preliminary numbers on balances. Amount of money isn't the issue. Where the money is, but that's where the auditors come in. So. Any uh, 
questions on the revenue report. Good job, Linda. It looks good. Thank you. Yeah. If we could just get our money from the state, we'd look real good. <laughs> yeah. Where are, we? Where are we with that, Karen? I think you and I spoke. We had gotten a check for. We got four hundred and one thousand dollars back right. in October under the executive order, and we have not seen anything since, other than some small things that come from the Department of Ed for the. Um, like Title I programs and things like that, but um, no, as of today, I still haven't received anything. If you were to guess how much we are that we're behind in revenue, based at on at this our, point yeah. in time, probably about two million. Okay. Because everything's quarterly now. Right. So you haven't received a letter or any kind of assurance that this the only is thing I received was two things. We re and I, I put one of them in your packet. One was the state is now yep. passing on the responsibility of the renters rebate program to the town. They're no longer going to administer it or fund it, um, and they're not going to fund the circuit breaker, which is what part of our revenue estimated revenues are. Actually, that's something that was up for discussion at the Capitol today. And they did reinstate the low SIP. They unfroze it. All of our entitlements before they froze it were paid. So we weren't one of those towns over the last fiscal year that didn't get the money. Um, and then what happened was is we were not allowed to apply for any new programs. So we did not get, you know, in fiscal year 16, 17, we did not get the 84000 that we had budgeted. But moving forward, it has been unfrozen, and hopefully in March we'll be able to apply, and the town's getting close to 154000 if things look good. Yeah, I think it was 152 It's like 1539 something, something, whatever. So I like to round up. <laughs> it's easier. So what does this renter's rebate program um, cost us? Or well, uh, I shouldn't say cost us. Like, well, how much do we expend? Us. How much do we expend? Yeah, they, they they don't. Don't. Yes, please they do. Don't. Zero. Yes, Zero. exactly. Basically, what it is, it's a program to give renters a, um, a rebate that would be equal to what the homeowners get, probably homeowners under okay. for their taxes. The, the way the process works is the local uh, assessor or elderly per, uh, agent takes an application for the person, submits it electronically to the state. And the state handles everything from that point on, including the processing and then issues checks. So, uh, and signed by the governor a few weeks ago was uh, about 50% of what the cost of the program is. Um, today's bill that was put, passed through the Senate, uh, fully funded. Okay, so this is so not the, current. So they added it back to OPM's budget to uh, issue those checks. So. Going forward, um, I assume it's going to continue on the state level and not the town level. Okay. I'm, I'm basing my uh, question on this letter that says the program's yes. not, yeah, and right. it's changed, right. is what you're telling me, right? since, since we received this. Yeah. So it's basically the state, the, the local uh, involvement was just the processing of the application. Oh, okay. And no funding whatsoever. All right. So I'm going forward, I don't know. I, to see what that, what that um, bill that they passed, they also what it changed the process, process. But I did see the budget part of that bill, and it just it did increase the amount to 20, roughly 25 million. So it all falls back on All falls back the All right. Okay. So I do have one question. Um, on the revenue, um, so do you break it down? Well, could you direct me where I would find out that the difference between what we collect from our industrial base or from retail or from residential. I mean, so you break that down someplace? Um, I, mean, I think I mean, your personal property would be your business retail, unless they, well, unless they own the real estate. Yeah. I mean, do we it's know? I mean, how much? You know, how much as a town are we getting from commercial taxes or versus residential? Do you break that down? Do, you, do we know that? Um, I do not know that. I, mean, I, I or, don't know that. I mean, we've got three. I mean, I mean we talk about economic property. development, and we have these three major in industries in town, and we have retail. 
and that's a part of you know, so that we know kind of how big of a, how much money. That, I think the easiest not. way to get that would be through the assessor's office to get to get the breakdown from uh, Mr. Kryzak out of the assessor's office okay. as to okay, so that's where you what what the values are, and that de determines what our uh, grant list is. Right. So that that information he would have, correct? So so I think that would be the easiest way to get it would, would be through the grand list. If you took the grand list and you looked at it and said industrial is worth <clears> this <throat> much, commercial is worth this right. much, real estate that much, then you could right. you could easily figure that percentage across the I know he has a list because when we went to Bond, we had to have him sign something stating um, what our highest tax payers were yeah. in town, which were the part like local businesses right. and things. So I'm sure he great has it somewhere where you right. could know like what's our highest tax revenue coming in, what business generates it. We lose a business; it could be a big chunk that the residents would have to make up, or exactly, somehow. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, mean, I, I think, think he that does have important. that. Yeah. Um, well, that would be like I said, the, the assessor's okay. office would be the one that would have that yeah. information. Yeah. In, in the in the software that they have, the uh, uh, quality data software, that's a can report in there. In the assessor's package, he can just go in there. Is a is a report. Okay, it's so as lists the top ten taxpayers and does it for you. As as chair, do you give me permission to? Speak to Mr. Crazy. Go for it. It's a public. Assessor. Absolutely. Public it's information. public information. Anyway, anyway, you can walk into that the, before yeah. that. If we're going to go yeah. on little fact finding missions, it should be something that we agree that we want to do. But yeah, no, that's. Okay. Anytime you want to find something out, though, you can find something out and you can distribute it to the board without a conversation at the same time. So yeah, it's great. It's, it's not just the top 10 taxpayers necessarily. You know, right. You're looking for commercial. So it's a diff probably a different filter right. than, you know, yeah, I mean, it's looking for percentages of each different class. I mean, class. I mean, top I mean yeah. just briefly, I mean, the reason I say that is that I understand that PNC just awarded a local um, brewery and distillery in town agricultural exemption. And uh, as a board of finance, I mean, we're sitting here struggling for where we're going to get the money. We've had this conversation. It's just, you know, well, you know, how much is coming from retail? And, you know, how much is coming from commercial? I mean, you know, let's try to get a handle on that yeah. because those those dollars are important to us. We don't want to let it slip away from Absolutely. us. But, so you're looking for trending. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think in that particular instance you're talking about, it was classified as a farming operation. So that's what we understand. Right. I'm not saying I disagree. Right. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just to make sure we're talking about apples and yes. apples. That's yes. Yes. why it was considered the way it was. All right, anything else on the town side? Okay, you'll get your quarterly report there from the Board of Ed also. Yep. Uh, Kevin's not here. Because uh, I, I had a couple of questions, and one of them was uh, the town report gives us the date. Uh, beginning date of 7 1 with an ending date of uh, 9 30, which would be the quarter, whereas the public schools <coughs> only gives us uh, for the year as an ending date. It doesn't say which date they end this right. on, and the report was actually generated on the 25th of last month. So, does that include part of that month or? Does that go back to the yeah, well, it's the twenty fifth? Yeah, right. But uh, uh, that that twenty fifth means three weeks of October. Right, and then that's that's what I was wondering uh, because one of the things that stands out uh, is the fact that uh, we're three months into our uh, our budget, and all things being equal, if it averaged out across the year, we've already spent. Uh, 30% of our electric bill for the schools. Uh, so that would be very interesting to find out what the uh, what the time frame on, on this is. So that's a very interesting question because all that air conditioning that was done could wipe out. Well, you've got not, not only do you have the warmer, you have the warmer months coming in, in uh, 
uh, May and June that they'll be using the air conditioning, but you're also getting right into the heavy heating season. Uh, in so, that case, though, I think that air conditioning has been there two years. Uh, the majority of it's only been a year. Yeah, we put the last one summer. Year. I thought we put yeah. some in last summer. Third, third floor, right? I think, yeah. yeah. And that's where the majority of it's being used. That's the heaviest. Okay, so it would have been less. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I, I'm going to contact uh, Karen Monroe and see if I can find out what the ending date was on this. Or maybe she could rerun it with a, a date. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, if, if, it, if it is, if it is, 930 that's that's what we need to know that that this is the period that we're discussing here good point anything else on the board there all right uh, next order of business is the discussion on filling the alternate vacancy as we know congratulations mr bradrick he was uh, elected to a full seat on the board, and uh, yeah, congratulations quite as well. And, yeah, thanks. Uh, but uh, he will actually take uh, officially uh, take that position on the uh, second Tuesday following the election, which will be the twenty-first. Uh, when that happens, we have a thirty-day window to fill the opening uh, on the alternate seat. So we have to move on that because basically we have until uh, the 21st of December to do that. That's our statutory duty. And if we don't fulfill that, then uh, that will get passed to the first selectman to do so. Uh, so if anyone knows of any interested candidates for that position, uh, they should let us know right away. Uh, at the present time, we have Mr. Bernardi has thrown his hat into the ring uh, to be considered for that position. Uh, so if anybody knows of anyone else, we'd like to meet with them and uh, get somebody that we can uh, fill that position with. So, Any, anyone so else? Who well, might be meeting with us next week? Meeting? It'll be prior to that. Okay. We'll we'll get together prior to that to meet with anyone that's interested. So you will have you will have some meetings. Uh, yes, okay. I'll I'll, I'll okay. correspond with everyone to let them know. And if uh, if you'd like to right now, we could actually set up a committee to screen candidates. You say prior to the twelve twelve meeting. Yes, if possible. I'd be willing to. Do that. All right. We have Glenn is willing to do that. I can do it. Mr. Morton, Mr. Lessig, anyone else? I will also do it. Yeah, the actual filling of that seat has to be done in a special meeting. Uh, that is correct. Right, so it would have to be a, so it has to be a meeting called before the 21st of December. Correct. That's correct. But that's sold for, and that and that is only that is only, and I checked with the Secretary of State's office. <laughs> uh, it can be done at a regular meeting, but according to our uh, policy manual, uh, it states in there that we will call a special meeting to do that. Can we call a special meeting on the twelfth? Can we have it on the same night? Could. We could. We could do it prior to the regular meeting. We can call that meeting right now that we're going to have that special meeting on the 12th. We call it now. We could. We could. Uh, if that's what, I mean. We can meet beforehand. Yes, absolutely. But but what I'm getting at is we still have till the 21st. So so if we don't have candidates. The 12th and the 21st, sorry. If we don't have candidates between now and the 12th, we still do have until the 21st. So we could cancel a special meeting. We could cancel a special meeting. We don't want to come up So again. we can, uh, if sure. you guys are going to, you know, work with the, all right, so we'll set a special meeting for the 12th. 6.30? Uh, yep, 6.30 p.m. prior to our regular meetings. Let's do that by motion. I'll make a motion that we 
schedule a special meeting for the purpose of uh, filling the uh, vacant alternate seat at 6.30 p.m. Second. That well, what day? On December the 12th. December the 12th. And you'll, you have the power to cancel that if not yeah. necessary. So yeah. we should be good with that. Do you have a second on that? Yes, Mr. Lessig seconded. Any further discussion on that? Okay, hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay, motion carries. Very good. All right. Uh, another, the uh, next issue would be uh, D, that would be the election of officers. Uh, we've had some discussion, some of the members already about this, uh, that maybe it should be changed in the future, but uh, by our current uh, policy manual, uh, we elect our officers first regular meeting following the town elections and that would be tonight. Uh, we can bring that up again next month and change that in the future so that it takes place after all the members it's proceeded. It's Tuesday uh, after the election. <laughs> first, yeah. Right. yeah, first okay. meeting after we'll see it, whatever. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, we couldn't, is there any reason why we couldn't make a motion to suspend that for tonight until the next meeting. I don't see why why we couldn't. I mean, it is it is our policy, so if someone chooses to make that motion, we can vote on it. I'll make that motion. Okay. Mr. Lessig has made a motion that we suspend the election of officers until our next meeting, which will be the 12th of December. We have a second on that? Yeah, I'll second it. Okay, we have Mr. Caban a second. Any further discussion? I mean, I know what Dave was saying earlier, that we just put these a bylaw, I mean, our uh, procedures in place and now we're breaking it right away, but we didn't understand this one. Right. We didn't see this one. Yeah. Part, you know. I'll, I Certainly. Actually, actually, it wasn't even on the agenda to begin with because right. I wasn't thinking that way. Right. I was waiting, you know. It, with my thought in mind was the until the full thing. board right. was seated, okay. and, right. and then it was brought to my attention that our policy right. says. Right. So that being, I just you know we just plain old missed that. It's not yeah. that we're trying to, we're not really changing. Yeah. As I said, you and I screwed up, and then, right. and then the whole right. board right. missed it. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. In this, in this particular case, it, it's it's probably somewhat academic, but in theory, the whole board could change. Absolutely. <laughs> so. Or. Two-thirds of it. Yeah, two-thirds anyway. Yeah. All right, so any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay. So, okay. so for the purpose of mopping this whole thing up, I would like to make a motion that we review add to new business next month to review our uh, policy, yeah. policy manual. That agenda item needs to take place after the election. Yeah. All right. <laughs> then we'll mop it up and be done with it. Call for a second. Was that call for a second? Uh, we didn't get a second yet. Second. Okay. Now we have a second. Oh. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Okay, it's okay. All righty. Okay, under communications and correspondence, uh, just remind everybody that the next meeting will be uh, the 12th. Any other public comment? Because I don't seem to have anything planned for the 12th, I'll be joining you that night. Um, I would love to get input from the Board of Finance. 
as to what we should be looking at at the Board of Selectmen level as we put together the budget for 2018. So um, <clears throat> maybe by then we'll have a sense of, you know, what the timing is for state funds to come in and what other surprises we might have in the state. So, <clears throat> so well, perhaps if you could put that on the agenda, discussion with the first selectman. Um, we'll have, you know, one other member of the board of selectmen who's new. So we'll have to, this will be a new budgetary process for him. And I've been through it before, but it's been a while. Right, yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna get through with the, there was another from the board, motion for that, or? No, we don't need that, 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 that can be just added to the agenda. That's not a problem. Any uh, other public comment? Michael. Uh, two things. First of all, I look forward to meeting the search committee. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I, I am on the Quasset School Committee, and I there's a book in my car. They had all the windows redone. Mm -hmm. and you gave some money to them. And there's a book in the car on every window, each step. I, it's in the car. I can bring it in if you want to see it, or I can bring it next to me. Bring it in twelve thousand four hundred dollars. Yeah, and fifteen grand for sure. Mm -hmm. How do I know that? I <laughs> remember. <laughs> so but I, I'll bring the book in if you'd like. I'll bring it next to me. I have a normal. They look great. With the prices that they got in the uh, windows for, for the school project. Any other public comment? Okay. Other from the board? Last thing on those minutes from previously, I just found another there. Um, it says uh, to fund the hazardous waste today. Yeah. The amount of 5,500, there's, there's an extra D that I'll put on it. Typo. Yeah, just a typo. But just, yeah, we just didn't want to get wasted out of there. <laughs> Page three, I believe. What did you know? Nothing else? The hell just wasted it. Uh, one last thing. As a board, you may want to talk to the selectmen about finding yourself another minute taker. Uh, because yeah. Have, because they're the ones that need to hire one for you. So that might be something you want to move I have a feeling they, they know about it. Yeah, Thanks. I think they know about it too. <laughs> Just as an FYI, the new board does not take effect. Uh, you know, we're not uh, sworn in for Friday, but we don't take office till the 21st. So it looks like you're without a clerk for at least a week. Oh, come on. you got three weeks to find it. <laughs> I bet Fred's minutes are going to be more brief. Don't mess with Fred. All right, nothing else, gentlemen? And would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no, I mean, did you have anything that oh, you... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, very good. All right, then. I guess uh, adjournment is uh, in the order. I would move that we adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.